Hello, greetings from Athens, Greece. I am Dr. Cleopatra Nakopoulos, and today I am going to talk about the difference between Botox and hyaluronic acid. As we get older, our face, our body is getting aged. And what is happening? We're losing uh, bone, we're losing fat, uh, the skin is becoming uh, less, uh, the ligaments are getting weak, the muscles the same. So lots of people uh, want to improve uh, their facial aesthetics and uh, they want to do some procedures in order to look younger. So let me explain to you what is happening to the face. The face has a dynamic part and a static part. When we want to treat the dynamic part, we want to use uh, a drug like botulinum toxin in order to relax the muscles. And if we want to treat uh, the static part of the face, we're using a filling material and the most well known is uh, hyaluronic acid. Both botulinum toxin and hyaluronic acid are FDA um, approval. And of course, we can use either one like Botox or hyaluronic acid or the combination of two. And what is the criteria uh, for uh, picking one or two in combination? First of all, if the person is younger, usually we can have very good aesthetic uh, outcomes for only one treatment. But as we get older, because the needs are more, we have to combine both we can treat the static part uh, with the botulinum toxin and we can treat uh, the dynamic part of the face like filling up uh, the lost volume uh, with uh, the filler and the most well known is hyaluronic acid of course we have another way of uh, filling up uh, the wrinkles and rejuvenating the skin with cleopatra technique this is uh, the most natural and safe way to uh, rejuvenate your skin and fill up the wrinkles. Uh, but if you want uh, to use one of those, uh, you can do it. But if you want to go a step further, you can use the combination of uh, PRF, which is Cleopatra Technique, uh, with uh, a filling material. Now, uh, what can we achieve? Uh, if we do all these uh, aesthetic procedures, and if we start at the age of 30 years old, uh, this is very good because we treat the skin and uh, we uh, stimulate um, the fibroblasts to produce collagen and elastin. And of course, this is very good because as we get older, we don't need to go through a very radical aesthetic uh, procedure such as a surgical facelift. Uh, now, uh, if you want uh, to do something, you have to keep in mind that these procedures are easy, but not easy. And what do I mean? I mean that if you go to a pra practitioner with experience that is licensed to do all these procedures, uh, they can be very easily and they can be done in your clinic with no problems and complications. And I'm talking about serious, uh, serious problems and complications. Because with all the injectables, you might have a minor edema, redness, some uh, bruising, but these are not serious complications. But let's say that uh, you go to a practitioner uh, with no experience, you might uh, get even blind or you might get yourself in a, um, stuck with a very big infection. Another thing about the downtime um, uh, period, if you do Botox or filler, uh, when you step out of the clinic, you can immediately go to your work and um, follow your everyday uh, schedule. Uh, the cost. The cost varies of the quantity and the practitioner and uh, the material. So if you want, you can uh, get a consultation from your practitioner and uh, then you will decide uh, what you want to do. Another thing uh, which is very important, less is the best. 
don't over exaggerate don't look at all the social media and all the big names that they have the photoshop they have all these things that you don't see the reality if you want to start your aesthetic procedures start step by step do a little bit go home see how you look and then you can always add more if you over exaggerate then sometimes you don't like the outcome and then you have to stuck with this new appearance for a short or a long period of time but anyway um, I hope that I have given to you just an idea what is the difference between Botox and filler, how you can combine both. And if you want to learn uh, more, you can subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, Dr. Cleopatra Nakopoulos, and you will get lots of information about dentistry and facial aesthetics. Thank you so much.